Hi, Kelly. And Rudy. We and are we are Conscious, Conscious Partnership. Partnership. Coaching. <laughs> so this is our um, To X or Not To X mm -hmm. Part 2 video. And this was a special request. We did promise that we were going to make this one a while mm -hmm. ago. And so restoring our integrity and <laughs> doing it now. And here we are. Yes. So sometimes uh, part, part one was about, you know, not having exes in our life. But sometimes we know that exes have to be in our life. Like both of our exes are in our, are in our lives. We have children with other, with other people. So they're in our lives. Right. And so this video is really going to address those relationships and, you know, just support how to consciously maintain relationships like that when they're necessary or they're going to be there without compromising the well-being mm -hmm. of the partnership and, you know, making sure that the partnership is safe and protected. So yes. we do have our exes because I have a son and he has a daughter from previous relationships. And so those are the parents of our children. We love them. We're grateful for them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our kids matter more than maybe our egos. For right? sure. <laughs> for sure. And so we've both done a lot of work to just you know, allow for the space of love and community to be fully present for the sake of the kids. Yes. And it makes it, for everyone, just such a happier, better, healthier, loving, big family. So, and a lot of families do this. So, so we're acknowledging families that do that. So the ones that really struggle, this is kind of some of the things we want to talk about. How energetically and how to set healthier boundaries. One of the main things that we really believe in is do we want to talk about that now? When we share? Sure. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to be. But well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the uh, saying no. When you say no, you're saying yes to something. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you say no to one thing, what you're really doing is saying yes to something else. And we fully believe this. We've seen this in our own life. And this does show up when we're in relationships with, you know, whether it's the ex, the parent of the child, mm. or... Um, maybe there's a family friend, right, that is an ex that is around. And so we want to be mindful of how we are engaging. Um, and part of that looks like, right, including the partner. Yeah. So if that person's going to be around, making it a very inclusive setting, not being like, oh, I'm going to go hang out with this ex and you can't ever come, you know, because this is my thing. <laughs> That's not really safe. And um, also it's really saying yes to something in your past which blocks you from saying yes to what you really, really want and what might be right in front of you. Yeah, exactly. There is something that magically happens when you do energetically say no to something. It's kind of like that saying where, where people say you, you, um, you polish over here and something will shine over there, which means that you put focus on one thing by saying, no, mm -hmm. I don't want this. And, you know, inevitably you will receive something else from another area of your life or you will receive a partnership of availability of mm -hmm. a partnership somewhere else that you didn't even expect that's right and there has to be some sort of faith and trust in that process so that's mm -hmm. why a lot of people get blocked of not saying no here because it's just an easy way to get that energy connection because it's like well there's no harm in it i'm connect i'm just saying hi or i'm just mm -hmm. texting or, you know, it doesn't seem, it seems harmless. It's not harming anyone. But truthfully, if you really want a partnership, it actually is harming you. It is. And I'm not going to lie. There was a time where all my friends were guys. What? I don't see, what's the problem? You know? And well, in that space, I never was able to actually create the partnership that I wanted. Yeah. Because it's so messy and it's compromised. And so when things are not clean, there's not a lot of space or something to show up. And when I finally let go of all that stuff and released myself from all those hooks, I was available and yep. guess who I met. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I was doing the same thing at that time. Yeah. <laughs> I pushed all the women that were in my life that I was energetically and flirting with and connecting with and being in friendships with. And I cut all that out and I, and I said no to all that. Mm -hmm. And then I said yes to the possibility of what showed up. Look yep. what we got. <laughs> yeah. 